obviously. How you doing? So tomorrow is the full moon and already it's starting to affect many of us. Um, let's see, today is September 28th and the harvest full moon is, is on actually the 29th. But already for a few days I've been actually feeling it. And yes, last night I started just feeling this like my stomach doing backwards, nauseous, nervous flips for no reason. So I knew it was with the moon. Um, so anyway, I was guided to come and give you just a little alert about that. I'm actually at the beach in the middle of the day today, which I'm not normally. Usually I run or walk in the morning and then come back at sunset. But boy, I just felt like I needed to really cleanse my energy um, I need to get in the water today so um, that's like something that you really need to start getting in tune with your body is um, what I mean does your energy feel like it needs cleansing do you need purifying do you need groundedness what is it that you know your body mind and spirit is needing I mean the first it's all of those things need something but it usually manifests with some symptom in your body that kind of gives you a red flag that something's going on. So pay attention to how your body feels. Today, I was, when I woke up, I knew I needed some cleansing today. So after this video, I'll definitely be getting in the water to let my little inner mermaid out to play. But one thing that the angels wanted me to talk about is pay attention to just like, you know, trying to get in touch with these any energy shifts yourself to kind of help you through them because it's just going to be one after another after another now for months. I'm getting for at least nine months, it's going to be pretty intense, one shift after another after another, all bringing their own gifts, all bringing their own reasons for coming in to help us move to our next levels. But like, um, this one, I feel like they're, it, the, the full moon is gutting us out. Like, if you listen to my last two um, energy alerts, it talks about being in integrity with yourself and really making decisions for yourself. And yesterday, as I was doing my run, well, I was winding down and I was walking after I had run for an hour, and um, I really got in touch with that part of me that is just going to be here for me. Because you know what? people in this world, um, things in this world, they're always distracting you from who you are and really what you need and what you want in this life. And I'm just tired of it, really. I'm not here to wonder what I'm going to do about this and that, seriously. Um, I'm here to be Cindy, to ask Cindy, what does Cindy what is Cindy wanting out of this, this experience? What does Cindy want out of this life? So you need to ask yourself, what is it really that you're wanting out of this experience? So a way to start honing in that kind of what do I want question is there's a lot there's a lot of ways, but one could be, you know, what is your sign? Like are you a water sign? Are you a fire sign? Are you a um, earth sign are you an air sign and this is what the angels were telling me this morning so the water sign um, obviously are very emotional people very intuitive people very sensitive people and um, so anything like a moon cycle which is happening every day is going to affect in a, a, a water sign because the moon is emotion is is all about the emotion and the moon is all about cycles and change so anybody who's a water sign you know i'm not saying that it's harder than any other sign because every sign has their challenges but emotionally i mean being that we're emotional humans human beings you know it it really does make an impact obviously i'm a water sign um so emotions one thing I noticed about water signs, well, this is what the angels told me, is they're looking for, they're very emotional, number one, but two of the biggest emotions for, um, that are important for water sign people are feeling safe and feeling loved. Like, those two things, 
are always, you know, something that that is that sign is kind of needing to feel safe and to feel loved. And I know that, you know, love is like an everyday thing on my mind. And I'm not just talking about love with other people, although definitely that too, but just love in general is so important. And, you know, I was thinking today, how do I really get in touch with that where I'm really feeling that every day without really feeling like you need another person to make that whole? Because really we should have, should. We, we really are everything that we could want and need inside of ourselves. So how do you really feel safe and loved within yourself? So part of surviving as a water sign is learning about your energy, like I already talked about, cleansing your energy. Always like, I knew I needed to go to the ocean today and just clean my energy. And all of us need to do that. No matter what sign we are right now, we really need to keep our energy clean. So that means what we eat, what we think, what we do, and physically do things to release stuff from our energy fields. Because, you know, if you start, you know, one thing I noticed with when we're going through these shifts, that people tend to start grabbing for anything to eat just to ground themselves, just to feel better, just to do something, nervous energy. And if you're grabbing for like sugar and meats and stuff like that, it's just really mess messing with your um, the chemicals in your brain, your the way your brain works and sends messages through your body. It's really, really making it so much harder for you when you do that. So think twice about that. The thing you really want to do is hydrate, drink lots of water, healthy fruits and juices. Obviously, I will always push because that's what I do. But hydrate and get out and clean your energy is going to be more important than processed foods and sugars and coffees and all that stuff that's just going to make you, it's going to push you over the edge worse. So think about what you're putting in your body because, and, and meat, oh my gosh. I mean, I know meat eaters hate it when I talk about it, but seriously, all the trauma that they experience um, before they die, all of that trauma and death, you are eating that and putting it in your vibration and definitely that can't be helping your psyche at all. So anyway, water signs, very sensitive. Make sure that you are, you know, grounding yourself in you. And that's for all signs. Ground yourself within you, not just in mo with Mother Earth. I mean, that's that was always a big deal is to ground yourself with Mother Earth, and it is still kind of a big deal. But more important is to ground the light within you. So call in the light and ground yourself within yourself. That's more important because our spirits, our souls, always tend to want to drift out of our bodies because it feels more comfortable out in the spirit world than it does in our physical body. So we really need to pull our spirits back within ourselves to, to feel whole and feel good and feel comfortable being in this body. If you're not in this body, you're not going to be comfortable being in it. So you need to pull your spirit in your body. And let me tell you something, your life force energy, which is your personal spirit, if you don't feel that in your body, then your body will start failing you. Your body cannot be alive without your spirit in it. So you need to make sure that you're anchoring your spirit in your body. Okay, so the air signs, you know, the angels are telling me that the air sign, they're just drifting out there and letting each little wave and each little shift and each little wind just kind of take them there and then take them the other way and then back there and drifting out all over the place. So air signs, you really, you know, you're, it's like you change your mood and you change your mind like at a drop of a, well, I wouldn't say at a drop of a hat, but at a shift of the wind. The wind goes left, all of a sudden you're switching your mind, and if it goes right, you're switching again, and you can't make up your mind because you keep moving it around. And you're, and again, being grounded in yourself, pulling the light fully into your body, so you can make decisions and, and stick with them. Stop, you know, if you keep changing your mind all the time, that means that you are number one, the word that keeps coming to me is confused. And if you're confused, that's not the best way to make decisions. If you're ever confused about anything, no matter what sign you are, that means you don't, 
that is not the time to make decisions. If you're confused, ask the angels, ask God for a solution, okay? Or ask for more information. Always ask for what you need. More information, more clarity, solutions, direction. Ask for those things. But when you're making decisions from confusion, it'll it's just not going to fly. You're, you're just not going to make it the same way. So air signs, you need to pull yourselves back here to earth. You need ground, earth grounding is very important for earth signs, very important because you tend to just kind of fly out there. Okay, um, earth, earth, the earth sign, those of you of the earth sign. What the angel showed me today was that you felt like hard, dry dirt. You just felt flat. And so what the angels are saying for earth sign people is to Really, just close your eyes and think of, think as Gaia, Mother Earth, as a living energy. That this Earth is a living energy. It is. Everything is a living energy. So this Earth definitely has a heartbeat. And it has amazing Earth energy ground, uh, grounding force. So those Earth signs, just imagine, close your eyes and imagine that that heartbeat right in the center of Mother Earth and let your heartbeat attune with it and then start bringing Earth energy up from the core of the Earth like just send some grounding cords down from you to the core of the Earth and then let the pulse of that Earth energy come up into you and back down to the core of the Earth and keep feeling that pulse to get in sync with the Earth and it'll bring you back to life. It will bring more life force to you, more livelihood. You won't feel flat and dirt, just flat. So you want to enliven yourself. So enliven yourself with Mother Earth. And finally, the fire sign. And what they're telling me about the fire sign is, you know how you, the, the fire sign is a, a sign of passion. And um, the fire sign doesn't hold back. The fire sign is just like, making a statement, okay? But how does that fire sign make a productive, positive statement if it doesn't know what it is? And then that can be dangerous because that's a fire burning out of control. So what the angels were showing me about the fire sign was, you know how you see a fire in flames and then there's always those ones that, you know, you see the big flame and then it goes out and you see those little pieces that are, uh, flames that are dispersing by themselves at the edges. That's kind of where the fire sign people may feel like they're being is kind of flitting here and there, like with no direction and not feeling part of that whole of that whole passion. So that what the, the those flames that are like, you know, bursting off the main flame, it's like they're looking for something. They're and they're searching for something, they're trying to grab for something and, and while they're grabbing for it, they're still trying to be a flame without really knowing what their purpose is. So to me, the fire sign could be very frustrated right now. Um, the, the angels say, become part of the whole of that flame. And what the fire sign needs to do is really get back into that heart, deep, deep, deep in that heart and find that inspired passion because that's what you need to feel in full flame, okay? So whatever your sign is, Follow the guidance of the angels that I've just given you because it'll help you to, you know, recenter and calm yourself and, and collect yourself and be here. Meanwhile, this full moon, I suspect what they're telling me for the next four or five days could be pretty intense. Um, they're telling me that, you know, your emotions, your, your feelings, your life could feel very up and down. Like you're like riding that roller coaster again, but a very spiking up and down. So, for any of the signs, that, that can be a difficult um, ride to, to take. But the best thing you can do is get, again, ground your spirit within yourself. Don't, if you don't have answers for what you need right now, it's okay. But I will say, listen to your messages. If you can ground yourself, and like, like I do, I come out here and, and I take walks and I just open to any guidance that I can get and I'm actually getting a lot of guidance from myself of what I need to do so I feel really blessed in that way but I'm asking for it and I'm taking the time to do that and I'm taking the time 
to work with my energy and if I need to clean it and go to the beach I do that and if I need to sleep I do that and and so I'm I actively every day work on myself I do what I need to do to keep myself as steady as possible and you know if you commit to doing that I'm not saying that I still not go, you know rolling with the punches here I am but I'm still getting answers and I'm still feeling good and I'm still getting clarity I mean like today I woke up pretty headachey not like a big headache but I feel the headache and I felt the stress in my neck and my spine and so I just you know breathe and work with Archangel Raphael to pull that energy out of me and I knew I had to come to the beach so I honor that and I do that so it's all about honoring you what you know right what I said earlier in the video what did Cindy need forget about everyone else what do you need and go for it and do what you need to do to keep yourself in a good place so full moon it's getting us out and again it keeps going back to that integrity of who are you who really are you I mean I'm sure you've asked this question and heard this question but you know what the universe is getting really serious with us here who are you and what do you want if it was just you if nothing else was around you your family your job nothing what in the deepest core of you what is it that you need for you and for me right now and, and it can change but right now I need really I'm feeling like when I say need I'm not saying it in a, in a way that I'm lacking it but in a way that I'm refining it for myself so I, I don't feel like that I'm with it without anything really I do have everything I really do have I, I'm pretty balanced and have a good aspect of everything and a pretty good handle on my life however there is always refining and right now I'd like to refine love within myself and I know all the stuff about loving yourself like you know people will tell you you know love yourself treat yourself you know go pamper yourself whatever but I'm talking something much deeper I am I am craving that deepest vibrate highest vibrating energy of love and when I think of what is that if it doesn't mean necessarily I mean I would love to feel that with another person but that person really needs to be able to, to reach that level of love too in order for that really to happen and so that's another story but um, I, I feel like the highest vibrating vibration of love is God so that's what I'm working with is just filling myself with God's love merging with God's love being God's love just being love and for those emotional water signs that I was talking about that that need to feel safe and loved you know what vibrate love be love and that's the and that's for all signs anyway because we are all naturally love vibration be love stop putting your mind to distractions of what to do about this issue and that issue I mean it's all a bunch of brain candy it's all a bunch of stuff to keep us away from finding out really what lights our fire and what our purpose is the answer to everything is always love so vibrate as much love as you can inside and express that love openly and honestly stop hiding your love from people and people stop you know what stop thinking it's weird if somebody says they love you it doesn't mean they want to go screw you for God's sake it it means I mean maybe it does too but who cares can't you just accept that somebody is saying they love you is that not like a beautiful statement now I'm not talking about going and stalking people and expecting that they should hear you say they love you and you know what God bless you if you can be open and tell people you love them but you also have to respect how other people feel some people don't feel comfortable with that but I would say on both sides if you have the ability to really come from your heart from a clean space of love and not have any expectations on the person that you're telling them that they love you that that you love like if I said I love you and I didn't have expectations on you I just wanted to simply tell you that I have love for you in my heart and that's all no, nothing needed in return 
that's a really beautiful thing for you if you can say it and the receiver if it feels weird for you to receive such a beautiful gift of someone saying that they, they have something special in your heart your their heart for you start looking inside yourself and find out why that feels weird to you because it's it's actually normal and it doesn't mean that you have to marry that person because they love you or do anything because they love you but receive it receive that you somebody thinks that you're special enough that they're carrying that love vibration for you in, in their heart it's really beautiful remember we are really all one and I know a lot of you may not really get that concept to the greatest extent but it's best if you do love everyone because that means you're loving yourself to the greatest extent and on that I don't think I can top another comment on that it's starting to get warm out here and I'm ready to get in the water and cleanse my energy so I'll leave you with that and I'm sure I'll be back in a day or two with another energy alert because this full moon's going to have us rocking but follow the advice of the angels that I've given you and I think that it'll help you a lot and just hold on tight and be inside of yourself pull your spirit inside of yourself and love and if you can do that I feel like that everything else just will be stuff that it'll all work out just keep loving keep loving you and keep loving life and everything will will work find its way to work out because the, the universe knows how to do it way better than we do so just put out your intentions and be from a purify your energy your body mind and spirit and come from a place of purity and love and let the universe work every other detail out for you and you will be like a cat that's tossed out that's that's I don't want to say tossed out a window they say cats always land on their feet so will you so trust trust and faith in God and be your authentic self and just love love you and love life and that my friends is it for today I'm heading into the water I need that cleansing my inner mermaid wants to get out and play and if I'm lucky maybe a dolphin will join me and that's what I'm gonna put my mind on and that's what I'm gonna dwell on right now is love and looking for a dolphin to play with so have a great day everyone and I'll catch up with you later love you all every single one of you have a great day bye Yeah.